Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you guys are. Um, guys, um, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for my reaction. You're waiting for my video about Canelo Alvarez against John Ryder. Canelo won comfortably. Um, you know, I was surprised that Ryder made the distance. I think Ryder's a very, very tough man. Very, very brave man. You know, his he was in a right mess and, you know, he took... Um, he took a lot of punishment And what I will say is that John Ryder's a proper fighting man I think he proved that On the night um, But I was surprised he went the distance And I think there's a there's a few factors here I think Unfortunately uh, what Somebody that I've been watching for a very long time um, I saw I saw You know Two guys in Ame Khan and Pacquiao uh, you know, go past their best, and Khan was like severely shot to bits when he finally took on Brook in his last fight. Uh, Manny Pacquiao looked a, sh a, sh a shadow of himself against Ugas, and uh, unfortunately, one of my other fighters that I've watched for many years that I've I've liked throughout the years. Unfortunately for me, it's sad to say that I think he's officially, in my opinion, past his best. I think Canelo Alvarez, I think he's past his best. Um, I do, I, I, you know, Ryder said it after the fight as well I don't think he's quite in his prime anymore He's past his best I mean, Canelo, let's be honest, man Canelo shouldn't be going 12 rounds with Ryder I don't care what people say about Ryder being tough Ryder don't go 12 rounds with a prime Canelo Alvarez It just it just doesn't happen I'm sorry, the level difference the the Like, Canelo's not that guy anymore He's not that guy anymore You know, he's not, he's just not um, I don't know whether it's the injuries. I don't know. You know, it's it's sad. It's it, it's sad because Canelo's been one of the great fighters, and I don't think Canelo gets the credit. And you know what the sad thing is? I don't think I think now Canelo's actually there for the taking. So I think someone might end up someone might end up beating Canelo Alvarez now, and we he we may not look at Canelo. The way we should look at Canelo, um, but yeah, it was, it was, um, yeah, it's um, upsetting, really, upsetting for. I think Canelo's past his best. I do. Um, what can I say? I, I think I think the guy's not the same guy anymore, um, and it's sad. It, it's sad to to say. Um, it is sad. Um, yeah. Um, that somebody that we watched, um, for so many years, you know, dominate and do so well. And, you know, him getting criticized about, um, about cherry picking and this, that, and he, he fought a lot of top guys. And, um, in, in the space of 12 months, the man became undisputed champion and everybody was like, oh, he cherry picked this, that, the other. And um, never really got never really got the credit, and now we're seeing the decline of him. And I, and I think Canelo's in a little bit of denial. Uh, I don't think Canelo thinks he's past his best. But I'll be honest with you. I think Bivol's going to take him apart. I'm going to be brutally honest. I won't be surprised if Bivol stops him. The what I saw of Canelo against Ryder. The what I saw against Canelo against Golovkin. I think Bivol's going to destroy him. And I, and, I, and I don't see how Canelo can win that fight. You know, you know, it's really sad. I'm, I'm being serious. It's very, very sad it's, uh, to see Canelo. Uh, like, even though Canelo, like, he battered Ryder from pillar to post. And I think that just kind of shows the greatness of Canelo. The fact that he went in there against a solid operator. I know people call him Ryder a bum and this, that and the other. And he literally battered Ryder, but still... The the signs are there that Canelo's not that guy anymore, and um, yeah, I'm. I don't know how I feel because I've been watching boxing for a while, and I know when I see a fighter on the slide on the decline, and I was you know praying that the fact that I thought it was injuries and I thought it was a guy a guy you know having to go through a lot, but it's not. You know, it, Canelo's on the slide. And if you're honest, if you're a true Canelo fan, you see that Can Canelo is not that fighter anymore. He's not that guy that his defense isn't as good as what it used to be. Um, 
he just looks like he's battling with physical injuries. Even though I, I think he's bad. I still think he didn't look right. I think he's battling physical injuries against Ryder. You know, he's, there's something not right. You know, even I saw a round where he hit Ryder with a right hand. And then afterwards, he was looking at his hand. I mean, just something doesn't seem right with Canelo. I think I think there's something wrong. And yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just, it's sad that Canelo has gone past his prime. You know, and that's obvious for anyone to see at this point. He's not that guy. I mean, there's no way. It doesn't matter how tough John Ryder is. It doesn't matter if he's the Iron Man. He don't go 12 rounds with Canelo. And the fact that Canelo hurt him and then he was able to go 12 rounds, I mean, I, I, it doesn't matter how tough somebody is. You don't, like, Canelo was a wrecking machine. Like, you just, you just don't. You just don't. The Canelo that fought Amir Khan or the Canelo that fought Danny Jacobs or the Canelo that fought Golovkin the first two times. Ryder doesn't go the distance with that Canelo Alvarez. He just doesn't. Or the Canelo that even fought Cotto and go like you know, he just doesn't. He just he just doesn't. And you know, I, I think Canelo even though really look, Ryder performed very well. I thought Ryder did very well. I thought Ryder's a good fighter. Un again, another underrated fighter. But I think it's quite clear to see that what see that what when I'm looking at this, I'm not looking at this as a rider, like he beat Ryder comfortably, battered him. I'm looking at him. I'm worried now. I'm worried for Canelo that he might get beat by guys like Benavidez, who I don't think would have lived with him in his prime. And this is why I'm saying it's sad because Canelo might get beaten by these guys now, like Benavidez. And people will say, Oh, see, Canelo was always a hype job. So I don't know how I feel because after watching that, I think Benavidez might beat him. And you know, I'm not the I'm not a massive Benavidez fan. I think Canelo would absolutely destroy. Uh, like, but I I I don't know whether Canelo's that guy anymore. And then I also look at it is that Canelo's not hurting the like he's hurting these guys, but these guys are going the distance with him. I mean, these guys are able to absorb his power and go along with him. And they're naturally bigger. Now, if he can't hurt Benavidez, can Benavidez outwork him? Possibly. You know? And Canelo just doesn't look that guy. So, for me, it's devastating. It is, dev it is devastating that a guy like Canelo is, is, is diminishing in front of our eyes. But he is. And he's there for the taking. For like somebody, some of these young guys, he is. You know, Benavidez and Andre, like, I think Andre's passed his best as well, to be honest with you. Um, but so other younger guys like Morel, Benavidez, you know, these other younger kids that are coming through, they'll be chomping at their bits to get in there with Canelo now because Canelo's not, Canelo's, he's not got, he's not that same guy. Not that same guy. And uh, Bivol's a no, no. Bivol's a, like, I'll be honest with you. I think, like, Canelo can't fight Baterbiev. He can't fight Baterbiev. That's, that'll be dangerous for his health at this point. He can't fight Baterbiev. That's just a horrible. That, that, that's not a fight. That's a mismatch at this point. From what I've seen, from what I've recently seen from Canelo. And the Bivol fight's a horrible fight. It's a horrible fight. I, I don't see... I don't even think the biggest Canelo fan at this point probably feels that Canelo wins that fight. I, I think Bivol will beat Canelo handily. I, I mean, I think he'd beat him badly next time. You know, so... I don't know. I don't know. It's just upsetting that Canelo looks like a diminished force. He looks like a diminished force at this point. He looks like a guy there for the taking. And to be honest with you, I don't know what he does. I don't know what he does. I, I personally think he has more of a chance at 168. But even that now is looking shaky to me. Even that is looking shaky to me. Even that is looking like, you know, he could lose against a Benavidez. He could lose against, uh, you know, some of these young, like, honestly, honestly. And uh, I don't know what Canelo does. Um... I don't know. I don't know because I don't look at Canelo like, 
oh, well, Canelo won the fight easy, yeah, but, but I don't look at it like that. It's like, for me, Canelo should be dominating and battering. And, and what I mean is, like, stopping these guys, like, they shouldn't... But Ryder went the distance. He went the distance. I'm thinking, if he can't hurt Ryder, who's a lot defensively hittable, right, how's he going to hurt Bivol? Because I don't see him outboxing Bivol. So, if he can't hurt Ryder, he's not going to hurt Bivol. And... Bivol's a much better boxer than Ryder. So how's he going to win that fight? You know, Ryder arguably won rounds in that fight. Forget what the judges had it. He arguably won two or three rounds. You know, and it's just like Canelo was... Canelo beat Liam Smith, right? And Liam Smith is, a, in my opinion, a better... I know Ryder's a bigger man. But Liam Smith, for me, is a better fighter than John Ryder. And Canelo beat the crap out of him. Not just beat the crap out of him. Did, right, Liam Smith didn't win a round. After three, four rounds against Khan, who's unbelievably fast and, and a much better boxer than Ryder, by the way, Canelo started timing Khan, started making Khan miss and timing him. And that was that that was a, a Khan that was still a good fighter. That's how good Canelo was. He was making, like, imagine making Amir Khan miss, right? With his hands beating. Canelo was making Amir Khan miss at times in that fight. And that's, like, impossible to do with his hand speed. How many fighters have been able to make Khan miss? Crawford, but that was a washed up Khan, you know? But, I mean, Khan in his prime. How many fighters? And he, Khan was in the ring with a lot of top names. Very, very, and nobody was able to really make him miss. Canelo was the first guy I seen with his head movement slick was actually able to make Khan miss. Don't get me wrong, Khan landed a lot, but that's natural. I mean, with that hand speed, you're gonna not be able. But Canelo was making him miss, and yesterday I saw Ryder, who's not very fast, landing in the pocket with Canelo. Maybe because Canelo was standing there, but. Just his defense doesn't look as good. And I'm thinking Bivol, who's so fast, who's so good on his feet. Like, imagine what he's going to do. Benavidez, who's got fast hands. Imagine what he's going to do. You know, so... I don't know, man. I don't know. I, it's just the last couple of fights have just been so unconvincing for, Can from, from, for Can from a Canelo standpoint. I just don't know. I just don't know where Canelo is right now. And I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's upsetting But I think he's past his best Is what I think anyway And I'd love to know your guys' opinion What do you guys think? Do you think Canelo's past his best? Do you think Canelo can can still fight against Bivol? Do you think he can still beat Bivol? Leave your thoughts Let me know what you think And I'll see you guys in the next video Peace guys